Hey there, advanced math. One last uh, rational numbers lesson before we're all kind of done with this. And so this is kind of like I'm already telling you the, uh, the answer. <laughs> but today, uh, this lesson's called the quotient of two rational numbers is always a rational number. And I'm just going to uh, hope that by the end of this lesson you believe that that is true. That no matter what two rational numbers you divide, that's what a quotient is, you'll always get another rational number. We're going to do some examples to show you why that is true today. And so when you've written your title down, close your math notebook up, concentrate with me, and then you can write it down when we get to the redo. Uh, just to remind you what a rational number is, it is any number that can be written as a fraction. And so those include integers, because negative 6, say, can be written as a fraction. Um, they, of course, include numbers that are already fractions. Or it can be a, uh, a mixed number as well. You know, 7 and 1 fourth can be written as 29 fourths, so it is a rational number. And it also included decimals. Um, most decimals, not all decimals, any terminating decimal is a rational number like uh, that, because I can write that as that, and I can write that as that. So any terminating decimal can be written as a fraction, and same with repeating decimals. Um, we didn't quite get to Y yet, because we didn't have the tools, but like that can be written as that, which can be written as that. So repeating and terminating decimals also are rational numbers. Okay, so let me prove, there's a couple of quotients, and remember the point today is to believe me when I say that the quotient of two rational numbers will always be a rational number. And I'm just going to prove that to you with some examples here today. So, for instance, um, if we divide these two rational numbers, we, we know the quick trick to that is that and we obviously get a rational number. Rational. Okay. Um, if I divide these, this is two rational numbers because they're both fractions. If I divide those, let's see, first thing I'm going to do, I know my answer is going to be positive when I divide negative by negative. So I'm going to ignore the signs the rest of the way and just know I have a positive answer. Uh, Three-sevenths divided by nine-halves is the same as three-sevenths times... 2 ninths, the reciprocal of the second fraction, which is 6 60 thirds. Is that right? 9 times 7 is 63. Um, I can find an equivalent fraction with smaller numbers. I've already got a rational number, so I really can stop there. Because <coughs> that's clearly a rational number, because it's a fraction. Um, I think I could reduce it a bit, we call it, or find a lower equivalent fraction with lower numbers if I divide both by 3. Is that right? Uh, that would give me 2 and, let's see, 60 divided by 3 is 20. I think it would be 2 20, what, 20 firsts, I guess you would say. But that's not important. The point is to know that it's a rational number today, which it is. And then this, couple ways I can show you this. Um, negative 6 and 2 tenths divided by 2.3333333333, repeating. Um, two ways I can prove that to you. One is, I could change them to fractions. Divided by, that is one third, I think you recognize that one. And then I could divide those and I would obviously get a fraction. If I went through that whole process, and fractions are rational. 
Or I can even prove it to you with a calculator. Um, if I just put this in. Divided by 2 and 3 repeating, I get this, and I think if you look carefully, you can tell that that is, can you tell that that's repeating? Let's see, let's see, let me write it out here, 2.6, oops, if I can copy that. Five seven one four two two eight five seven one four two eight and yeah you can see the repeating part is this it is the five seven one four two eight five seven one four two eight so if you even just do it in the calculator you'll get a repeating decimal and if it's repeating it's rational. Terminating and um, repeating decimals are rational. Okay, so that's it. So a couple ways you can do it um, here. Let's do a few together. Open up your math notebook. And let's prove that all three of these quotients are rational. So I guess first thing to do, I guess you write it as your title. Make sure you know that what we're trying to do is prove that the quotient of any two rational numbers will be a rational number. That's the goal today. So this is an easy one. 19 divided by negative 3 is negative 19 thirds. That is obviously a rational number. Negative a half divided by 7 tenths. That is the same as negative a half times 10 sevenths which is the same as negative 10 fourteenths or negative 5 sevenths if I divide both numerator and denominator by 2. That is clearly a rational number because it's a fraction. <clears throat> and this one there's two different ways to do. So the first thing I could do would be to turn them into fractions. Uh, one repeating is a ninth. You'll get used to those um, in time before I teach you how to do it. And then the quotient of those would be a fraction. Fraction. And fractions are rational. Um, the other thing I can do is use a calculator to divide those. 10 and 25 hundredths divided by 3 and 1 repeating. And I will get 3, 2, 9, 4, 6, 3.2946. Four two eight five seven. Hard to find that this is repeating, but it is somewhere. One four two eight five seven. Didn't pick the best examples here, but if you look far enough, um, where is it? Four two eight five seven one. I think I missed a one in here. 42857 repeats over and over and over, something like that. All right. And if it's repeating or terminating, then it's rational. So no matter what you do, if you divide any two rational numbers, you're going to get a rational number. And I know we haven't really studied any numbers that are not rational, but they do exist. Um, and you'll learn about them at some point. So just today's point I want you to know, no matter how, at what two rational numbers you divide, you'll get another rational number. Okay, that's it. Hopefully this made a lot of sense. Please go back and check again if it does not, and I'll see you tomorrow.